Drew Harvell is on a mission. She's a marine epidemiologist, and she's been studying ocean diseases for decades. Today, she's searching for baby starfish on the shores of Washington's San Juan Islands. Whether starfish survive on these beaches in years to come depends on these juveniles. We would really love the sign of hope that maybe they'll pull through, so we're going to be watching them very closely. Up and down the West Coast, millions of starfish, also called sea stars, have been dying from a mysterious syndrome. This is the largest disease outbreak that we know of ever in the oceans. The die-offs have been patchy, and until recently, starfish here were spared. Cold water around the San Juan Islands seems to have protected them. But summertime means warmer waters, and stars here are suddenly showing symptoms. Their bodies are deflated, they're unable to hold on to rocks, and their arms are falling off. I'm expecting that in the next two weeks we will lose virtually all the stars at this site. Until recently, no one could explain the die-offs. But Harvell's team now has evidence that it's an infectious disease caused by a bacteria or virus. Back in the lab, technician Morgan Eisenlord has been conducting experiments to pinpoint the characteristics of the disease, which impacts almost every species of West Coast starfish. Since we really don't know a lot about this, the progression of the disease, the timing, what's causing it, I mean, all of these things are important. Scientists have learned that the disease spreads through the water and through physical contact. They're also testing the hypothesis that the pathogen may be transferred through shellfish, which sea stars like to eat. Scientists still have more questions than answers, and chief among them is how the loss of starfish would change the seascape. We're losing a whole guild of stars that are voracious predators, all of which can control their ecosystem. And so to lose all of them at once, we don't even know what's going to happen. Once the exact pathogen is identified, scientists will better understand whether West Coast starfish will be able to recover and if there's any way to help them.